Let's go. Let's have a look at tangents and normals. equation of a tangent remember that a tangent line is a straight line so we're using the same equation we've seen in year 8 9 and 10 this is a linear line where you substitute x1 and y1 and the gradient m but instead of writing m this time we're going to write f dash x that is the same as the gradient so here we have two questions find the equation of the tangent for f of x equals 2x squared and x equals 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to use that equation. First of all, we need a point for the equation and a gradient. So let's see what the point will be. The point will be us figuring out what the y value is at three. So plug that in. So two x squared becomes two, three squared. Three squared is nine times two is 18. So the point is three and 18. Next, we have to find the gradient. And the gradient at three would mean f dash x so f dash x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So if x to the power of 2 minus 1 is just x. Now at 3 would mean we substitute 3 and we get 12. So f dash x is 12. Now we're going to use that equation over there where x1 and y1 will be these points over here. So plug that y1 is 18 and x1 is 3 and the gradient there is 12. Then we expand 12x and minus 36. 12 times minus 3 is minus 36. And bring the 18 over the other side. Minus 36 plus 18 is 18. So now we have the equation of the tangent at x equals 3 for f of x is 2x squared. Example 2, f of x equals 5x minus x cubed. And we have to find the tangent at x equals 1. So again, we're going to do the same three steps. Find a point, find a gradient, and then sub it into the equation. So for the point, we have x is 1. How do we find y? Sub in the original equation. So 5 times 1 minus 1 cubed, which is 4. So we have the point 1, 4. Then we find a gradient. So that is f dash 1. What is that equal to? So finding f of x first, f dash x first. So that's 5 minus 3x squared. So at 1, sub in 1, we have 5 minus 3 is just 2. So the gradient at x equals 1 is 2. So we have a point, we have a gradient. Let's sub it into that equation. So now we have y minus 4 equals 2x minus 2. Bring the 4 over, we have y equals 2x minus 2. What about equation of a normal? Well, we know that normal is minus has a gradient of minus one over m. So this time we're going to write minus one over instead of m. We'll write f dash x. Let's do an example with the normal. So again, it's very similar to finding the tangent line because we have a point, a gradient, and equation. So the point is exactly is exactly the same. To find the point, we sub in x into the original equation, and as we saw before, we obtained three eighteen. For the gradient, it is slightly different. So we do the first section uh, the same. So f dash x is still 4x, sub in 3, f dash 3 is now 12. But we're looking for minus 1 over that. So minus 1 over 12. Then subbing into the equation. So we have y minus 18 equals, now the gradient is minus 1 over 12, x minus 3. So let's expand that. Minus 1 over 30, 12 times 3 is positive a quarter then bring the 18 over the other side add it together and we have minus x over 12 plus 73 over 4. let's do the example on the right again the same three steps so step one plug it into f of x to find the y value which we have done before so 1 4 is our coordinate then the gradient at x equals 1 firstly derive it so 5 minus 3x squared at 1 it is uh, 2 and then minus 1 over that would become minus 1 over 2. So apply that into the equation. We have expand that. So minus a half times minus 1 is a half. Bring the minus 4 over the other side. We have 9 over 2 as our y-intercept and a negative half as our gradient. How did I get 9 over 2? 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 
let's use the calculator to try and do these examples. Let me take the calculator out. Okay, so let's have a look at the equation before. So we go to main, then we click interactive, calculation, go to line, and you can find the tangent line or the normal. Let's do the tangent line for to practice. So the expression you type in what the expression is. So two x. Oops, did I type x? No, I typed a y. So two x squared, and the point is at x equals to three. So when we hit enter or oh, okay. It gives us 12x minus 18, which is what we were looking at. Uh, let's see if I need to make that a little bit bigger for you. So let me do it again. Interactive calculation. Click on line, tan line. And you type in the equation, whatever it is. So in my case is 2x squared. And the point is there three so we type in three and click ok and it gives us the equation which is the same as this one here well an expression but you can write y equals and if we were to do a um, normal so let's have a look at the normal answer from before over there so we would go interactive uh, oh let's do action this time calculation line normal line and this time i can just copy paste that in oh double check that i don't have too many brackets and enter oops i don't like decimals let me do it again enter and so we have the same equation as before so you can go action where you can just drag if you're using an old equation or interactive if you want to type it into the little box another way to use the CAS is to hit graph and table type in the equation hit the graph button um, you can zoom out if you want uh, let's do quick standard and then for your sketching, so analysis, sketch, and you can do tangent or normal. Let's do the tangent before we did it at three. So if you type in three on your keyboard and press OK, it gives you the tangent line. And if you hit enter or EXE, it gives you the equation right in that spot over there. So hit EXE to see the equation of the tangent. I hope that was useful. Use your CAS practice because you will need to do these things really quickly, like obtain the equation super quick. See that with the CAS, it was pretty much instant. You didn't have to do all the calculations, but you also need to know how to do the calculations by hand. So practice and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.